This video is part of the course that is batch processing with Spring Batch and Spring Boot. Link for the course is given in the description. Let's create our very first job. So inside this package, let's create a new class. I'm giving the class name as sample job. You can give any name, okay? That's up to you. According to your job, you can give this name. Now, the very first thing is we need to mark this class with at configuration. Now, to have the job, Spring Batch provides one interface that is job. So, let's define one bean that is type of job. So, define the bean and that is type of interface job. Say this is first job. Let's import. This is job interface from the Spring Batch. Now, to create the job, Spring Batch provides one class that is job builder factory. So, let's auto wire over here job builder factory. Yeah, this one from the Spring Batch. See, here we are using Spring Batch with Spring Boot, okay? So, we can directly use this object with the auto wire annotation because Spring Boot will do the configuration in the back end. We don't need to worry about this. So, now let's use this object of job builder factory and call the method get to create the job. And here we can provide the job name. You can give any. Say, for example, first job. This is your job name. Now we know, right? A job can have single step or multiple steps. So, let's go with the first step only, okay? And for that, you need to call the method that is start. And here, you need to pass your step. This is for just first step only, okay? And as of now, we are just going with the one step. In the upcoming lectures, we will add another step as well, okay? So, to have the step, Spring Batch provides one interface that is step. So, let's have another method that will return step, say first step. Import it from the Spring Batch. Now, to create the step, Spring Batch provides one class that is Step Builder Factory. Okay. So, let's auto wire it over here. Step Builder Factory. This one from the Spring Batch. Now, let's use this object to create the step. Call the method get and provide your step name. Say, for example, this is our first step. Now, first we are going with the task led step, okay? So, let's have this step as task led. So, for that, you need to call the method task led. And here we need to define what task we want to perform inside this step, okay? And for that, Spring Batch provides one interface that is task led. So, let's say another method task led. This one from the Spring Batch say first task. Let's return the instance of this interface. So, return new tasklet. Yeah. And let me do maximize so that you can have a better idea. So, here we need to provide the logic that we want to perform inside this step, basically the tasklet step. Okay. Say for example, we just want to have one simple sysout statement. This is first task let step. That's it. So, this is the task that we want to perform inside this particular step. Okay. And now, after that, we need to return its status. Say, for example, finished. That's it. A very simple step we are going with. Okay. And that is type of task let. So, let's call this method from here. And then, we need to call the method build to create the step. That's it. And that we need to return from this method because our return type for this method is step. So now this step we need to provide inside our job. So call the method first step and then build. So this will return job. Okay. So let's add return statement. Let me do control shift type. Yeah. And bring this to new line so that you can have better look. Okay. Yes, we are good. So, what we have done over here? We have created job using the job builder factory and we provided the name. 
we started so this is our very first step so we need to call the method start and we need to provide our step so this is our first step and using the step builder factory we created this first step and we provided that this is type of tasklet now using this method right which is returning the instance of tasklet we provided the task that we want to perform inside this particular step okay we are just printing this is first tasklet step that's it whatever task you have you can put over here and last we are returning that this is finished that means completed so this is what we have done so far okay we created the job the job is having one step and the step is type of tasklet so let's run our very first spring batch job so let's open the main class and run it as spring boot application see the message this is first tasklet step okay and this is coming from here whatever we have inside our tasklet step so this is the flow okay this is the job the job is having one step and that is type of tasklet and here we are using two classes one is job builder factory to create the job and another one is step builder factory to create the step for now we are just going with the simple things okay this is our very first step now in the upcoming lectures we will also see how to have multiple steps inside your job if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends do you want to learn spring batch if yes then i am having complete course on it in this course you will learn spring batch in detail you will learn what is job and step provided by spring batch In this course you will learn tasklet step and chunk oriented step in detail you will learn item reader item processor and item writer with example in this course you will learn how to launch a job using rest api and how to schedule a job using spring scheduler there are different item readers provided by spring batch in this course you will learn flat file item reader json item reader xml item reader jdbc item reader and many more Just like item reader, Spring Batch provides different item writers. In this course, you will learn flat file item writer, JSON item writer, XML item writer, JDBC item writer, and many more. Fault tolerance is very important while working with Spring Batch, and that's what this course covers. In this course, you will learn how to skip the bad records and how to capture the bad records while reading, processing, and writing the data. You will also learn retry mechanism provided by Spring Batch. This course covers real time use case that is database migration. In this course, you will learn how to migrate from Postgres to MySQL database using Spring Batch. And for this purpose, we will use JP Item Reader and JP Item Writer. So what are you waiting for? Link for the course is given in the description. Just click on that and start learning Spring Batch with Spring Boot. So that's all for now. and we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding